everyone welcome back in this selenium python tutorial we will learn about how to identify the web elements by the tag name and class name so let's see what all we have covered so basically we have covered finding element by id name xpath link text partial link text and css selector now let's understand what exactly is tag name and the class name and how you can identify the web elements using tag name and class name so the concept still remains same you simply have to use the method tag name to identify the web element by tag name and provide the tag name within the braces um, and then for the class name you have to provide the class name and use the method find element by class name okay so let me go to pycharm and i'll copy this existing code just to expedite the process create a new python file name it as other demo tag and class and same so i'll say i'll name it as demo element by tag and class let me paste everything here okay so now in order to click or find the element by the tag name or the class name we simply have to change it from say for example this was the find element by name so we simply need to change it to find element and find element by tag name so for example i'm looking for the tag name so it will find the element by the tag name and then let's see what all tags are available okay and for the class name we need to use the method find element by class name this particular method so for the tag name find element by tag name by class name now how you will get these locators the tag by the tag name and the class name so let's go to the same portal here so this is the login page of yatra.com okay so we'll work on this one so this was the particular text box that we were identifying so if we simply inspect this selectors hub will anyways give you all the locators but you can basically understand what exactly the when we say tag name and class name what exactly so the tag name is the starting tag that you see for any of the web elements so for example input so input is the tag name for this this particular web element then there is a tag name span div list unordered list so these are all basically the tag the form and anything which starts from this bracket followed by the the word there that's basically the tag okay so when we say find element by tag name we are saying we just provide the tag so if we say find element by this particular tag input then we simply say on in the comment the class name as of now and we simply provide the tag so we provide the name of the tag and then in this tag say for example i want to write something so we'll say send keys and we will say test at test.com all right or i'll say academy okay so now with this particular tag if you see to this particular page you will see that this there are tag names but they are not unique right you can see that selectors have provides the list of tag names that are there with the input tag okay so if you specify the tag name which tag it will basically refer to so the first tag that it will find on that particular page will be the tag name that it will be identified and operation will be performed on that particular tag so if i copy this and on this code i'll say control f and control v this particular input so this is not the tag so if you just keep moving you'll see the first tag is basically the tag for this particular text box right so which is good because in this particular case it should identify this text box and enter the email that we have provided there if we move next we'll see another tags there right so there there is a password tag which basically i believe will enable once you provide the mobile number or the email id and hit continue right so there are tags but the tag that will get identified because there are multiple tags so the first tag that is there on the page will be identified by this particular statement here okay and it will type in these keys so if i run this now it will open the browser open the sign in prompt and it should type in that particular value because it will be able to find this particular text box with this input tag right so even though there are multiple tags it will find the tag that the first tag and will type in the value now this is not the reliable way because you don't know which tag is the first tag right so if there are multiple web elements or multiple elements with the same tag then this is not the ideal approach i'm just showing you basically how you can identify the elements by the tag so if there is a unique tag on the page you can use this method now coming back to the let me comment the tag one let me uncomment 
the class name okay so now if we go to the same page here and say for example i want to see what's the class name for this particular web element so in the selectors hub it will show you the class name right so the, it shows that this is the class name and that's unique okay so let's copy this i want to show you something here so watch this carefully so i've copied this class name and I want to use this class name to basically enter certain value. Okay, so this is the class name and then I want to send keys. So I'll say send keys and I want to type in the same value there. Okay, so test at rcbacademy.com. All right, so let me move it a little bit this way. Okay, so if you see here now what we are doing is we are trying to identify by the class name and the class that we have chosen is provided by selectors hub, right? So which is which is the add-on. Okay, so I've copied that and I'm using the same class. So if I run this now, let's see what happens. It will open the browser and it failed, right? So what's the problem there? So it's not able to locate that particular web element right so you can see that's where the issue is so you can see message no such element right so no such element unable to locate this particular element okay now why did this happen so that's the thing that you need to understand before you actually copy the values from uh, the tool mostly majority of the time this tool will help you a lot it's it's very good tool but you have to make sure that you are understanding the tool properly and using it properly okay so now in the class name if you see it has provided you the all the classes that are there for this particular web element right so here if you see it says class is equal to all the combined classes there right but actually it's it's the multiple classes there right so it, the space separated here so you'll see that it's this is the one of the class then required field is another class and then email login box is another class okay so these are sort of you can say three classes there and if you want a combination of all three it will fail so you have to use one of these so anything separated by space in the class is basically what you need to make sure that you are using only one class in that particular case okay so say for example i copy this and if i paste it here right now you will see that with this particular class name there are three classes okay so if i click next there is one more and click next there is one more so that's also not unique so if i use this particular class what will happen is it will click on the first element that has that particular class okay now if i go back and say for example i use this email login box okay so email login box i think should be unique to this particular this class is unique to this particular web element okay so if i paste it here and now you can see it is one of one so i think we can use this email login box successfully to send the value so if i remove this all of this and i'll say by class name and i'll simply provide email login box and send keys then i should send these values into the text box there so you can see that it has basically typed in the value test at rcbacademy.com and closed the browser all right so that's basically how you identify the web elements by the tag name and the class name right so these are used in some instances where you cannot find any other attributes at all but understanding these locator strategies and how you can use them is very very important in overall selenium learning journey okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching